Now before getting started with this review, I have two things to clear up. Number one, I have never seen the original movie. Seriously, I've never seen a frame from that original movie. I was going to go see this movie, and after my mom was seeing it, and she said the original, I said, nope, this is the remake that's done by LeBron James. And number two, I am not a diehard Lakers fan. I am a Russell Westbrook fan. He is my guy. I have followed him since Oklahoma City. And yes, I know he's not great on the team, but hey, that's my guy. House Party stars Tosin Cole, Jacob Lattimore, and LeBron James. It's about a high school student decides to host a house party while his parents are away, a remake of the 1990 comedy. Yeah, and you know what's funny about that? Reading the IMDb credit plot line, yeah, that's not the plot to this movie. That might be the original to the movie, I have no idea, but this movie is about two guys who clean LeBron James' house, decide to promote and host a house party in LeBron James' house. And that is your plot. Seriously, again, never seen the original. I don't know how stupid or funny or great the original is. No idea. I've heard it's great because apparently it got put in some like national film history thing recently, which is really cool. But this will never touch or see the sight of that because this movie is not funny. And you have one rule in a comedy, make me laugh. And you know, people might go see this movie and find it hilarious. For an hour and 40 minute movie, I chuckled four times. That's just my B. Like seriously, I, I no one was in this theater. It was just me. And I was bored. I wanted to get up. I felt like I could do way more of my time than watch this movie. Because all this movie has going for it is cameos. And they're like 20 second cameos. I don't know if they filmed this during a COVID restriction thing, but the first 40 minutes of this movie, 50 minutes of it, is these two guys setting up the party. And they're trying to set up this family drama. They're trying to set everything up. But there's no stakes. The acting's not great. The story's not there. And then once the party starts, there is no party. I never felt like I was watching a party. Seriously, it, it felt like there was so much space between everyone. Again, I could see it being a COVID restriction. I could see that. But if not, the directing was not great or blocking. Which is the first time director. I hope for the future of him, he can do better. But for a first timer, I mean, this was bad. I know it's a house party movie. I'm looking in too deep. But again, it just didn't make me laugh. That's like, the, that's the number one thing. It wasn't funny to me at all. It literally, all it had was LeBron. That's all it had going for this movie. And besides that, I mean, it's a really dog shit movie. I'm going to give house party an F. Seriously, there was no one in this auditorium. I went on my phone like five times. I really, really considered getting up and leaving. Seriously, I, I, I did not enjoy watching this movie. But hey, you might go see this movie. You might be a big fan of that original movie. You might love and laugh at this movie. That's totally fine. For me though, I never laughed. I chuckled. That's all I did. Anyway guys, you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone.